Lizzy Bird, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today we are continuing with the second DLC pack with what's probably going to be the biggest chunk of it if we take a look at the quests. We do have new main quests, as you see, we have the EX, the Champion's Ballad. Now this has sort of been the biggest thing about all the DLC was adding new sort of kind of story mode content, and that's what we'll be starting with today. It is the last thing we have to do out of most of the DLC, as far as I know. I mean, there might be like some additional shrines and stuff, but for right now, we're doing the Champion ballad, Zelda's voice spoke to you. She said that because you have tamed all four divine beasts, you can now unlock the powerful force hidden within. Head to the Shrine of Resurrection and return to the Sheikah Slate to its terminal. All right, so that's gonna be very interesting. I, as far as I understand, it's all sort of like, uh, prequel stuff, I guess it takes place in the past. But with that being said, I was able to get the uh, gear on Sky. Um, I didn't before because obviously I didn't have enough points, but then I actually, you know, came on to get some pictures for the videos and stuff. And I actually checked real fast and we had enough points to do it, so I was like, okay, let me do it now before the points go down or something. And I was like, awesome, so it works now. We can call in from Sky at any point in the game. That's gonna be super duper amazing. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and travel to the Shrine of Resurrection. If we need Sky, we'll be able to call her over and we'll see how things go. Some of you said this is going to be taking a while. I don't know how long a while is. Some people said like 10, 20 more episodes. I don't know if it's gonna be that big. But we'll have to wait and see. You know, I try to make these episodes like an hour each. I mean, hey, if it's more content, I'm happy to see it. But uh, we'll just wait and see, we'll find out. And we'll move on from there. So yeah, we're getting started with the Champions Ballad today. A lot of you have been anticipating this, so I thank you for your patience. And hopefully at least we can breach into 100 episodes with this. You know, we're at episode 96 right now. Shrine of Resurrection. So we've actually been back here before looking for some different goodies. So yeah, let me also, just in case, I don't know like, are we gonna be using our gear? Let me at least just get like some, yeah, normal gear on like the Helian stuff, the Hylian stuff, sorry. And right here, this is where we got the she Sheikah Sleep. What's gonna go, go on now? This is super exciting. This new, new story. Sheikah Slate and champion verification complete activating the Divine Beast Tamer's Trial. Oh no, more trials. Associated locations have been marked on the map. Huh. Associated locations. Whoa, what's this? What in the world is that? It's like a trident, but four prongs, like a quadrant? Take hold of the provided weapon to begin the trial. EX the champion's ballad. What happened now? After returning the Dashika slate to the terminal in the Shrine of Resurrection, a mysterious weapon appeared out of nowhere. You must use it to defeat all monsters at four locations within the Great Plateau. The trial will begin once you take hold of the weapon. Whoa. This is weird. Oh no, is it heavy? Does it smell bad? What's happening? Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 I need that health. Don't take it away. No. <laughs> One quarter of a heart. Uh-oh, we're in big trouble. I am Maz Koshia. I now address the one who wishes to master a divine beast. To undertake this task requires unwavering dedication. That weapon defeats foes with one hit. However, the reverse is also true, as its wielder will fall to one something. Okay, one hit. Uh, you can use this weapon's ability only twice within a set period of time, only when it is glowing. When enough time passes, the weapon will regain its sheen along with its power. So one hit takes down everything. At the four marked locations within the Great Plateau, Defeat all monsters present to prove your power. Oh boy. So we can only hit people once until it starts to glow again. If you're not up to the challenge, leave this plateau. The weapon will return here and the trial will end. One hit obliterator. Zero to infinity. A weapon that defeats foes with one hit and causes the user to die from one hit. It loses its sheen and power after two consecutive uses, but will eventually regain both. Wow-wee. That is surely, can I throw it? 
No. <laughs> just like throwing up bricks in a million pieces. Good job, Link. The one hit obliterator, as the name suggests, can defeat enemies in one hit. However, the wielder will also be defeated in one hit. Defeat the monsters at the locations marked on the map within the Great Plateau. If you wish to quit this trial, simply leave, okay? There are four monsters, monster bases remaining. So, let's get to it. We gotta go and beat everybody up in those locations. Hopefully there are no other monsters anywhere else that we could run into. And can I eat food? I mean, maybe I should just try it real fast. I highly doubt that would work, but let me just eat an apple. Where's an apple? Oh, it just goes back down. Ha, <laughs> that was pretty cheeky. Alrighty, well, we'll try this out with the one hit obliterator, and I can't change my weapons. I mean, I can change my gear and stuff, but I don't even have a bow and arrow. Very interesting. So I really have to do everything with the sword. Yeah, you can't carry any more melee weapons. How odd is that? So our first one's over this way. Oh, and it's all dark and mysterious now. I like it. So yeah, I'd all, all, all I'd have to do is leave the Great Plateau. This is interesting for sure. Because I thought that there was gonna be more story to this. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's something more that I'm uh, missing. There we go, got that guy. Now the problem isn't that. It's these guys. Oh no, I hear bats. What do I do about that? Also, do I still have, okay, I still do have this. This could be a problem. What's in the chest? Phrenic bow. Your inventory's full. I don't really need a phrenic bow. I can't use a phrenic bow. I'm in big trouble. That was enough to beat you up, that's great. But once again, now I don't, okay, I'm stuck. Okay, watch it! <laughs> okay, I can't just charge into this, the situation like that. That was sort of me being reckless, for sure. Uh, we'll try that again. <laughs> but I thought that there was supposed to be a quest that gave more story. Maybe maybe this isn't it, maybe I'm wrong. I don't really know. I mean, maybe this leads into that. Who knows? For right now though, we gotta focus on this. I think that, yeah, I guess once we do this, maybe we'll be able to know more about, like we'll probably learn a bit of backstory for completing this is probably something that happens, but anyways, this is gonna take a whole chunk of tries, I am more than certain. My best bet then, and if I could change my gear, right? Like, okay, that actually is a good idea. Let me think about that. If I can't take more than one hit despite my armor, it's gonna be in my best uh, interest to do whatever's sneakiest. So if right now, they might be able to see me if I walk in the wrong places, but they certainly won't be able to hear me. So I think I, I could go into this trunk. Don't walk into the spikes and die that way. That's just be a silly way to do it. So like you see this guy, what are my chances of just sneaking up on him before he could call for help? Because right now he's just chilling, you know? Get the weapon nice and ready. Oh, oh no, he found me. That's fine now, because I can just do that. But will there be more? Because I don't know what to do about all the, the keys, all the bats. There's just too many of them. Oh, what about the boar? Does the boar count? I don't think he does. I wish it would tell me a bit more specifically what matters in this situation and what does not. No! Ah! Oh, that's what I don't like. And that's probably where I should have just used Oh no, I'm in big trouble now. There we go. So now I gotta wait for the weapon to restore. So I might as well just, okay, it's going again. Okay, so it actually comes back pretty quick. Now, well, if I didn't stink. <laughs> I have thought to preface this by saying I haven't played in a little while. So if I if I play bad at first, like I definitely need to warm up. This is a challenge unlike something we've experienced before, for sure. So this is gonna take some learning taking some adjusting. I'm gonna just try to get the Great Plateau done today and we'll see like what happens after that. I mean, hopefully I can just get like one done at a time, right? Like if I get one done, I don't have to go to the second one. If I die there, I don't have to do the first one again. So definitely one thing I need to do then, so I don't forget to do it later, is equip this, that, and that, and then I'm going to save. Excellent. And maybe I should save again when I'm a little bit closer. 
Because there's no problem with like gliding over here and getting rid of this guy right off the bat, because then nobody noticed me. Like the guy up there could have noticed me, but he didn't, so. And I can't even use like Urbosa's Rage or anything, which is sort of unfortunate. And they all noticed me that time. But I can like use that stuff. And then I can just smack this guy away. And then I can sort of do the same deal to, well, thank you very much, sir. It's the silver bulkup one up there. Like this is tough. This is really tough. I like how the game over logo changes color. I guess maybe depending on how you died. That's weird. I like it. Let's try this again. And like, maybe I need to poke at this from a different angle. You never really know. There might be more opportunity here than what I'm trying to do. I'm being a bit blunt with this. I need to be careful. I need to be sneaky. I need to access what I can and get rid of it. If I could get onto the top and deal with any of the snipers, that'd be fantastic. Oh, what did you see, huh? You think you saw something? Oh, he hides in that tall grass, though. I can't even really see him. Where'd he go? He's gone. I don't know if he's snoozing. Oh, he's he's there. I don't like that. And there's so many enemies in these in this camp. Okay, ready for it? I hit the tree because I'm a champion at video games. Okay, there co here come the keys. Have they noticed me? I feel like they may have. <laughs> I might be in big trouble here if I don't start moving. Because it's still playing the music! I don't like this. Like, what do I do about these guys? I don't think there's anything, but that may be my last thing. There's the keys. I might have to save them for last or something. I gotta say, oh, come on. This is wicked difficult. Don't climb up the tree. Instead, hit this guy. Wait for my weapon to restore. And then, if these guys are odd. Come on. Oh, I thought I got hit there. I didn't. Somehow, some way, I'm still kicking. I need to get rid of these dudes. Yeah, that was actually great. Come on, come on, run over here so I can boom, hit you like that. Where are you? You don't have a weapon now, which is excellent for me, so I can go hiya and get ya. Got you pretty good there. Whew, okay. Plenty of monster parts to snag. Looks like I'm off the hook for now. Now, I'm not really interested in gear or monster parts or anything. Like, if I get them, awesome but I cannot go out of my way for them. I need to just sort of leave it where it is. Like it gives me a phrenic bow up here. Don't really need that, you know? One thing I do notice, like there's a beehive over there. I don't want to anger them. Even bees could just take us out right now for good. So my only worry here is I gotta run over here and boom, get rid of this guy before he gets rid of me. Once again, there's a phrenic bow in here I don't have the room for. I think I've taken a photo of a phrenic bow before. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. But I'm just gonna quickly get him. And then we should have a guy down this way. Who I should just be able to slice at. Ooh, that was close. And that's everybody. So it really wasn't all of the enemies. It was all the Bokoblin. I'm, I'm guessing all the Bokoblin, Moblin type characters, but whoa, look at this. Big pillar. Really, really big pillar. Is it a shrine? Whoa, so maybe for completing each one we get a different shrine, that sounds very interesting. Where are you, EX the Champions Ballad. Uh, there are three monster bases remaining, conquer each shrine as they appear. Okay, so where did that appear? Right over this way. I'm still down to one hit though, so I do gotta be careful. And don't jump into these spikes like I was so close to doing there. <laughs> yeah, let's just get over this way. And we're at the Yawaka Ida Shrine. Let's try it out. So these are very interesting for sure. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go into here. And let's get started. If your foe is fighting is too powerful, train yourself up. You can start by finding a stronger weapon. We can't find a weapon stronger than what we currently have. I do like the one hit obliterator. Can we just go and use this against Ganon? You know, maybe if I'm quick enough at it, I gotta go wah before he can hit me and we just win. That'd be so funny. Do we get to keep the one hit obliterator for completing this? That'd make me so happy. It'd just be so cool. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Yawaki Ida. The name of, uh, in the name of God is highly, I offer this trial. Okay, so collected soul. We haven't done a shrine in so long, this is like nearly nostalgic. So obviously I have to get a ball here. 
just a normal one, right here. And that would open up the uh, ending of the shrine. And there's a treasure chest to get. Tons of other things. Can I change my weapon? I guess I, I can't. So I have to also, oh no. <laughs> I didn't realize that was just a, a, a dip, a gap there. Let's try that again. Uh, I hope I can start in the shrine and not, I've never had a game over in the shrine before. Okay, I'm here, I'm here, no worries, no worries. Okay, so let me observe things maybe a bit better this time. There's the spike balls, there's normal balls. But yeah, my goal is to do that. But if I could just run over here to the side before they hit me, I'm fine. That's the big challenge here, is getting it done. There's so many things moving around. Was that a treasure chest? Hmm. So getting a ball here would get me a treasure chest as well. I'm starting to collect the challenges of what we have to do here. So first off, my main goal, actually, before I even touch any of that stuff, should be to try to grab that chest. I might not be able to, it might move too quickly. But it's right there. Yeah, it moves too quick. It's too much in motion. Whoa, hold on. There we go. So like, there's lots of good stuff here for sure. Oh, okay, I moved that a little too far. Like I could grab this, but I think I need the glowing one. There it is, and there it goes. <laughs> this is tough, it's not easy. There's like more than one treasure chest though, which is good, maybe. Oh, come on, really? Come on. Oh yeah, like it sort of just like resets right there. Interesting. That's fun and all. Whoa, where is it going? Oh, perfect, not perfect, come on! Ah, it ain't easy. Come on. Oh, there it is. So if I could just slowly bring it back, because as you can see, it doesn't like that very much. Ooh, and very carefully plop it down. What's inside of here? We have Bomb arrow times five. Now, everything else doesn't appear to be a chest. So I just need to find one of the medium-sized rocks and put it there. So I just need to get the treasure chest out of here and get back to it. So you see that medium-sized rock right there? I mean, I guess it's more of a sphere. I mean, it obviously is made of rock. But it isn't just like, I mean, I could also grab one of those. Just sort of picking and choosing. Yeah, like this one, this one. Uh, let's see if we can't just scoop it up, and there it goes. That's the big problem here, is that you sort of have to move with it in a weird way, but I think it's certainly doable if we could just be at the right place at the right time, and then that's it, that's it. You see how I sort of retracted it? No! <laughs> Move too fast for that part. But like I sort of retracted with it so it didn't just roll right out of our cup. I think that's way smarter than using the one that is going to bounce them. If I could actually get things in good position, that is. Angling is hard to see exactly what's going on here. Just gonna dodge that stuff for now. But this is what I'm looking for. That's it, that's excellent. Now slowly, slowly bring it over. Whoa, come on. Excellent, excellent. And then I can just sort of push it over there. Yeah, look at that! So boom, we get that rock into that little divot and we can get ourselves a treasure chest. Will this have anything worthwhile? I guess we're about to find out. Um, A phrenic bow again. Really, two phrenic bows? Why is the game really like phrenic bows right now? I'm not really sure. But we need to find one of the smaller sphericals, like this one. <laughs> I was gonna say, should be much easier to grab. We'll have to see about that. I need the ones that are glowing though. I think that the ones that are not glowing are gonna be a bit of a trick. Nice, okay, we got it, but once again, it's very small, so its momentum could be affected quite greatly. And this is where I feel like things could get quite, oh no, uh, risky, is I could pick it up, and maybe I should, because if I get hit by one of these things, it's game over! Wowie, that just grazed us! Or just barely almost grazed us. Even grazing us would take us out at this point. Come on, I just need to sort of rock this thing around. There it goes, now let's, Wait for that to open up. I heard another chest, actually. Where is there another chest? I mean, I made a little beep. This way. Why is there a chest out? I don't see no chest. 
here. And then it goes away. I do not want to get hit. <laughs> no! My cup! I didn't mean to do that. Did we get it? Oh, we get another cup though. How generous. I don't know where this other chest is. Uh, I don't think it's worth risking. I mean, it might just be in here in a weird way. I don't believe so. Like maybe there's some kind of weird angle, something hidden somewhere. I don't quite see it. Yeah, it really wants me to believe there's something over that way. Very odd, unless there's something up here. I'm sure there's a way to lift ourselves up there with like the mag magnesis and stuff. Not too interested, gotta be honest, I'd rather just move forward. Uh, hopefully we can revisit these shrines, but who knows. But there's the first one done, your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Well, that's good, because that's why we're doing it after all. We get the spirit orb. Yeah, I, I miss those things, you know. So maybe we could get max hearts now. That'd be cool. We already have max stamina. That would actually be very nice. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> got our first DLC shrine done. That's always good to see. So like, I guess really that might be how this works. Cause I knew that there were more shrines and I had thought there was more story content in DLC pack two. Maybe what it is, is that there are four different things in each area or in specific important areas. And once we get each one done, we'll get a shrine. When we get four of them done in an area, maybe we'll get a cutscene of some sort. That would be really cool. I don't know if that's a case though. That part I might just have misunderstood. Anyways, the next closest one is gonna be over this way. I can only hope that not too many enemies get in our way when we're trying to get over to there. Uh, but my best bet is probably just going to the Great Plateau Shower, seeing how we can teleport, unless this gets rid of my sword, my uh, one hit obliterator. Only one way to know though. I do also have to check the map to see if there's any more, uh, like the shrine we just completed, is that on the map now? Maybe I should have checked while I was there. If I don't know, I can check with our next one. Because as you can see, while I have one orb, it still says I've only completed 120 shrines. Excuse me, I have now completed 121 shrines, thank you very much. So does that mean, do I get the perk of teleporting to that one? That's the Omen Al Shrine. We were right here. Oh, and you can tell it has a slightly different symbol. You can tell that the shrine itself like is a little taller than this one here. Collected soul, interesting. Also taking a look at our path is always fun. Crazy how we like properly have not explored even like the some of the areas in the very beginning of the game. Like this corner here, pretty untouched for me. Very interesting. Anyways, our closest one is gonna be directly ahead, right over this way. And is it a silly mistake just to head on in like this? Most likely. But sometimes, you know, it's the best thing to do. Lots of Lizalfos, which can be very concerning. I think that, yeah, we're definitely gonna crouch and see how I can maybe sneak my way in the center of their little uh, organization they have here. But even this guy already suspects me, you know? Sometimes I think my best bet is to toss something over that way. But it doesn't distract him, nothing gets past his eyes. You see nothing, go look over that way. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe he'll get bored. Oh, there we go, there we go, here's my chance. That's it. Now this guy outposting is gonna be a bit more of a problem. And, oh, oh, oh okay. He can't see me anymore, right? No, okay, he gave up, he gave up. He's my best bet for taking out first, but when I, he doesn't see me, his friend does. No way, no way you can see me from that distance. No way. Okay, how much baloney can I call on that one? All of it? There we go, there go his two friends. Oh no, but here comes the silver one. And their friends have snipers. No, oh, some, some of them got me. One of them had to get me there with a bow and arrow. We just collapse on the floor. Poor Link, that's, I'm trying to find that point of entry, you know? It was on the back side for the Bokoblins. For the Lazafas, they seem to be scouting a whole lot more, so this is not easy. Definitely not easy business. It might actually be worth my while to glide in from the tower and slam down on the center, but they might even call their horns at that point. But at some point, I feel like I fear the Rangers more than I fear the melee. We're gonna try it again, though. See if I can't make my win this way. It's very unlikely but I might just be able to hide like here. 
That's it. If I could, you saw nothing. I'm telling you, buddy, you saw a whole bunch of, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? Get, get, get. <laughs> he's like playing his horn again. He's like, is anybody listen to me? Wait. Did they seriously like, oh, he's just, was he like the little Lizalfo that plays his horn? You know, like the boy who cries wolf? Well, finally bit him in the butt. Man, I can't believe we didn't get in trouble. That was weird. But this is where things get interesting. There's nobody over this way. So this is definitely the preferred point of entry. And I wanna, I would love to just throw my, my stuff. But I don't know if that's exactly the best idea at the moment. See, we can't do anything when it comes to throwing. My best bet right now is to sneak up on this guy and hit him and then hide. He's like, what? Okay, go, 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 quickly, quickly, quickly. Ah, oh, darn. Oh no, I think I've been heard. I think I've been found. Oh, Dad! Oh! Ah, get him out of here, be gone. Oh no. Okay, I gotta wait for my weapon to restore. Actually, it has one use. Ah, oh, he got me, I should have jumped. I knew it and I didn't do nothing. Like I just, I saw it coming, but it happened too fast for me to react. Oh, that is tough. That is really tough. Hmm. I'm thinking we'll do two of these in episode. So we'll do two now. I mean, I guess, I don't know, maybe not. It's it's hard for me to decide. Hey, you guys know this by now that I'm not good at making decisions. <laughs> and when I do, I quickly regret them. Like, like what just happened there. If I could just get rid of the Rangers, like I think the order of how this is difficult, right? is first it's the people with the bow and arrow. They're so risky because I cannot stop moving because of them. The second most risky, dangerous enemies are going to be, oh, you again, you again, you again, you again. Oh, okay, this time I didn't get as lucky, gotta be honest. Are gonna be the guys, oh, I don't even have a charge for this, do I? Yeah, this is not charged, why not? I only hit him once, but maybe it's not even one hit, it's one swing. Okay, here we go, you're in trouble now. See, you're in trouble. No, 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 not fair. Not fair, maybe if I run really far away. Oh, they are, man. You gotta join a track team, dude. No. But the guys with the staffs are the second most dangerous. Yeah, this guy's just shooting his arrows at me. There's still, I think some of them are hearing the other ones play the horns, so they're playing the horns as well. And nothing's really happening. Okay, this is my uh, patented zigzag attack. Soon enough, I will be right at him and he'll have nothing to do except for get hit in the face and then I get hit by that. Somehow I didn't, but I get hit by that one. This one is so difficult. I need to first off go back to the tower. I need to go back to the tower and access this from a different angle. I just have to. So I'm actually coming in from this angle now, from the Eastern Abbey. We have this uh, shrine right there from the very beginning of the game. Maybe it can help me out a little bit here. I think coming in from this angle might be a tad bit more smart. So we'll try it out, we'll see what ends up happening. And he immediately, immediately spots me. But then he turns around, he doesn't care. He doesn't get paid enough to bo be bothered by that. But if I could, you know what, this is where I need to be smarter. Because I could have done this and then smacked him, and then he's done. He's done, nothing more he can do, and then and then you ruined everything because you just saw the top of Link's head. And wait, the Guardian's alive? He wasn't, he didn't care last time. He didn't care at all. He didn't give two hoots. Hit the Lysel instead. Oh no, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble, I'm in I'm so, so much trouble. What, come on, what hit me? I demand to know an answer, was it in his tongue? It was his tongue, wasn't it? Ooh, this is just, there's no angle to like, get in there, you know? I wanna be able to very sneakily take each one out. I've never been very good at stealth in this game, as you can see, and this is why. It just, it's hard to find an angle to actually get in there and just fight. You can't just fight your way out of it when you only got two hits at a time. Why does it start me back here? Like, what purpose does this serve? being over this way. I wanna try to crouch into the tall grass, but 
I only doubtful this will be very helpful. Man, if I could just have a bow and arrow, it would defeat the entire purpose of the mission. But it would be so helpful. Okay. I need to hide. I need to hide. No way you see me. I call so much baloney on that. I hope you know. I call so much baloney on that. Because that doesn't make any sense. There's no way you saw me over the horizon of the little hill. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand in the water. Let's see. Why are you on fire? <laughs> what happened? What major malfunction happened there? I think we might have gotten rid of all their melee units. There's a lot of horns being played here. Not a whole lot of people sprinting at me at full speed. Don't you dare, I spoke too soon. Whoa, but hey. Oh, come on, it just takes one sniper though. Like, oh, that is frustrating. That is so stinky. Wait, okay, so I went to go get a drink of water and I respawned right next to him. What was that? Yeah, get rid of this thing. Oh wait, is it gonna totally explode? Because that's gonna leave me vulnerable. Yeah, it's gonna totally explode. How bizarre was that? It will actually just save right next to me. You stink though. Ready? Be gone. And your little friend too. They're, they're gonna be coming at me real soon here. Yeah, you leave me alone. That could have been bad. That could have been real bad. Oh, they're trying to find a better angle. Wait, did they give up? They did. Ooh. He's still, he's like, I know he's around here. Where'd he go? What was that, huh? That sounds very interesting, right? That, that little circular thing, what, what's that over there? You don't know, do you? But do you know what this is? I, I don't think that hit him. <laughs> or did it? Did he return to his post or did I get rid of him? I have no clue. I guess I ugh, didn't hit him. What's that? Why are you the most unobservant person now? You see me out of nowhere and then I spawn in the next to you and nobody cares anymore? This is bizarre. This is super duper bizarre. I don't know if I like broke the game accidentally. I could definitely push a couple of these, but that'd certainly be helpful if there were more guys down there. It sort of kind of saved some of the guys I got rid of then. Because there were certainly more before, right? I'm almost positive there was. Okay, well then my best bet is to fly down this way and to smack this dude before he can play his horn. About to get in big trouble there. Luckily I didn't. If I could grab the food though, don't walk into the fire because that's gonna, oh my gosh, I got close. Don't touch the beehive either. Because I really don't want to die to bees. So as far as I understand, there's one dude left. I don't know where, oh, he's over here. And he's still just sort of walking around, not caring about nothing. Was that everybody? It was. I feel like I actually did break the game. I don't know why it saved when I was right next to the Lysol. Like maybe there's more checkpoints here than I had thought. I mean, at the same time, no, there, there definitely aren't any checkpoints. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I just spawned right next to Eliza and sort of broke it. Which isn't exactly what I want to be able to solve the situation. It's very weird. Either way, let's go ahead and do our second shrine of the day. This will probably wrap it off for today's episode. It's the Rota Shiga shrine. And then we'll do the other two in the next episode. That'll be very interesting. But uh, yeah, we'll try this out. Hopefully things will go well. I can only hope. And we'll see from there. So yeah, this is... It's very interesting so far. I really like this Champion's Ballad. It's new, it's fresh for sure, which is fun. So what is going on with this shrine? This is the stop to start Rota Shiga shrine. Or maybe Rota Shiga shrine, I don't know. Hmm. I am already concerned by this. But as you can see, some spikes pop up while others pop down. Ow. <laughs> that was a little weird. Um, I think I know what to do. I can sort of do a little bit of leapfrog here between the two metal platforms. So as long as I do that, I'm fine. For at least this portion of it. I mean, I, I was trying to jump onto that block because of the way it's sort of textured. I think I can actually climb up it. 
Gold fine out. Get back in there. There we go, starting with that. Grabbing this. Uh, whoa, okay, that's, there's a whole conjunction of physics happening here in a way that I had not anticipated. Let me grab this thing, move it over like this. Now I sort of see the idea of what I'm trying to accomplish here. Oh my gosh, it's sort of wonky. <laughs> but I'm supposed, I think there's actually a little chest over there. I'm gonna try to get it. So you might be able to see over here, there's a little opening. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be, yep, I already see it, a chest. The problem is it's not exactly easy to get to, but what I'm gonna have to do is get this around here. So if I could just get over there and try to climb that thing, every time now I've tried to climb it, I've just ended up bumping right into Spike. So that's clearly not what I want. I might have to like, grab this and move it just a little closer. In between the both of these, there we go. See, like that's not so bad to do. I just had a hard time doing it. What do we got in here? We got the Forest Dweller's shield is actually very cool. I want that. So I'm gonna take a look at my shields here. What do I got? What can I uh, what can I ditch? Uh, my best bet is this, which is still a very good shield that I don't want to ditch, but I don't think I have a picture of this. I'm mildly certain I do not. It's worth the risk. Uh, let's go ahead and just drop it real fast so that I can check. Do I have a photo? I do not. Totally worth it. Save. Now we'll just keep it for the looks. Why not? I'm sure we'll find another Guardian's shield thing. Now I don't know, that might be the only chest in here. I don't see the beeper going off no more. So could I? Oh, I can freeze these. I was gonna say, that would make sense if I could. Oh my. Can I, I can even freeze these. I can't freeze the spinning cogs though. But as long as I just run in a relatively straight line, I, I turn out okay. Whoa, now this one's gonna be a tad bit more complicated. I think it's gonna be easy to dodge one or two of them, but three of them is gonna make this a bit complicated. I would have much rather have dodged the middle one, which is what I was trying to aim for there. They really do plan the fact that you have only a quarter health here. Okay, and there's something to get over this way. Getting to it for now, though, is gonna be a bit complicated, right? Oh, no, 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 I'm uh, misunderstanding this. I just gotta pop down here. That's gonna open the door. Oh no, that is not what I anticipated. I had thought that maybe I just had something to hold this button. Okay, um, okay. Oh, uh, I don't quite understand. That's not what I wanted. How I'm supposed to predict any of that. Uh, very weird, very, very weird. It just sort of pops up faster than you could possibly hope to respond to it. Okay, well I gotta start from the beginning again, that's not fun. I'm trying my best here just to make it out of this place. This was the one, yeah, that one went like that. And then here, these retract and then that'll go down. And now I just don't know what's gonna happen, so I just sort of have to wait. Oh, oh, he's, oh, I see, I see. I had to go like this. I was sort of like waiting, what's happening? Oh, and we're at the end! Okay, so we're at the final stretch there, that is excellent. The wall's still approaching. <laughs> I'm just gonna end this run. I think we got the only chest in it too, so that's pretty exciting, just making our way through. Okay, well, awesome, awesome stuff. We got some good things going on. We got the spirit orb. That's great. Okay, so as you can see, may the goddess smile upon you. How wonderful is that? Uh, we're good. So I think that I'm probably gonna finish it off with that. Next episode, we'll do the other two areas and get those two shrines done. And then maybe after that, like I, don't, I really don't know if they're like, is that it? Is there more areas? I'm pretty sure there's more areas. How many more areas will there be? I don't know. I might do an entire area starting, not at next episode, but the episode after. We'll have to wait and see, for sure. But uh, for now, this was fun. I really liked it. Oh, hey, it's Cass. What are you, what are you doing here? You're not commonly here. Hmm? How unexpected to see a traveler on this solitary plateau. Ha, we meet again, hmm? Not to be rude, but you don't look so well. Much like this plateau. You're looking a mite dreary. Uh. Oh, I apologize. Perhaps it was not my place to say as much. I understand more than most the, the burden of travel. 
As for me, I came along, came to this spot to pursue an ancient song about a hero at this very plateau. I can't shake the feeling that we are destined to meet here. In any case, would you like to hear my song? Not now. Is this part of the quest we already did? I see. Well, do let me know if you change your mind. Maybe I should hear him out. Oh. But I, I don't know if I've already done this one or not. Uh. All right then, thank you kind traveler. Now then, open your ears and, and your heart to the song. The flames crawl, the waters rise. The lightning strikes, the wind sighs. A beast beyond the divine four awaits a hero forevermore. So Ganon. Let not the sound leave horses riled. Breathe in the breath of the wild. Of the wild, I caught it! I don't know if that was exactly hard to guess. This is definitely new though. Mm. Curious indeed, as it were, I per per perused my teacher's old notes and found that song there. Mm. Mm, what sort of sound could alarm a, horse's, a horse so effectively? Kabam, kapow, rumble, rumble. Honestly, I haven't a clue. It certainly hopes, uh, helps to visit the locations that inspired the song. Yes, it helps open my mind to inspiration. Those notes had, an, uh, uh, had other interesting songs too. Plan to visit those locations as well. Maybe this is where we were first supposed to meet Cass and I never did this. <laughs> Probably. I mean, I have this. And look at this, I got a horse. That alarms my horse. He's like, hey, what's up? You know. Sky might be the big missing link I need to actually get everything done around here. <laughs> like these other two things. Maybe we'll try to use him a little bit in the next episode while we continue this uh, quest. It's been very interesting so far for sure, the Champion's Ballad. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Champion Zebra, so that you've watched at the end of the URA, Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.